Lord. <laughs> oh, baby, still a water, so they made a guy so did he. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Hello, Anna, son, did he. Kenny, son, did he. Hello, water, cut it, baby, so did he. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Oh, Jesus. My Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Rain down, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bere solo wana son de rikene son terei. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. My Lord, thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Hello, wakana son de lo arasotiri. Hello, wakana son de re, my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Kelo wana son de re. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <sighs> Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. Rain down, Lord, rain down. Rain down. Magnify your name, Jesus. Yes, flood us with your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hello. I hope all is well. Um, I really didn't plan on giving a word today. Um, but, you know, God is... God is good. He knows what he's doing. Um, yeah, he knows what he's doing. He's mighty. He's mighty and he is faithful. He is faithful. So, I've actually been meditating on, on Micah, but I'm going to Micah 6 and 8. Thank you, Jesus. He has shown you, O oh man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? And to walk humbly with your God. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to Micah 7 and 7. Therefore, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Do not rejoice over me, my enemy. When I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's not just a light. He's a bright light. Let me focus on him. And everything just becomes so minimized around us the situations the circumstances the sickness the lord is really yes he's turning around some things in this time i thank you jesus i thank you jesus for your mighty power i thank you lord that you are who you are that you are an awesome god that you can do whatever you wish whatever you want i thank you lord that you are always right here with us i thank you lord that you never leave us nor forsake us lord i thank you that you have a purpose in everything jesus i thank you for whatever you want to say lord i thank you that you use me to encourage and edify I thank you, Jesus, that you are building up your Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. 
I thank you that we would ever grow in the spirit. I thank you, Lord, that we would ever grow in the spiritual power that you died to give us, Lord. Yes, Jesus, I thank you for this. I thank you that you would use me to speak whatever it is you want to say to your precious and beloved children, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this word. Let it build us up, Lord. Let it spur us on, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, yes. And I say, here I am, Lord. Use me. <laughs> but remove me, Lord. And let it be your spirit. Yes, remove my wretched flesh, Lord. Let it be your spirit and your spirit alone that says whatever it is you want to say, Lord. Here I am, use me. And I thank you, Jesus. Yes, who? Hallelujah. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your precious Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you for your blood. I thank you for your blood. Hallelujah. Huh. Wow. Yes. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for your blood. I thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit, for your presence that is so heavy. Yes, I praise you for this presence, Lord, this presence that gets us through everything, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, in your precious, holy, and mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello, Anasonari. This is going to be a quick word. This isn't going to be long. The Lord has someone He wants to encourage. <laughs> and I just say yes. Um, yeah, because He's worthy and He knows what He's doing. And, um, you know, the enemy has overplayed His hand in your life. The enemy has overplayed his hand in the lives of the children of God. And the enemy has overplayed his hand in the world. Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You see, God is just making a perfect symphony, a perfect sound. He is fine tuning the instruments that he is using, that he is about to use in a mighty way. You see, we're always being used, but there's greater, there's greater, there's greater that's coming. The enemy has overplay, overplayed everything in your life from this point. And sickness, the Lord is speaking to me about sickness. Sickness, somebody is sick, somebody has been sick, and the enemy has thought that he is going to take you out with this. And God is saying, no, 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 you are healed by my stripes. The enemy has overplayed his hand in your life. And I am overturning what the doctors have said to you. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Because even now, even now, the suffering and the sickness has been for my glory, says the Lord. It has been so that they will see that I still am in the business of working miracles, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody claim that word because I feel it so strong. And you don't have to say it out loud. Just tell God. Just tell God. Claim that word, my God. My God, thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord, for healing Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for healing. Oh, he's touching. He's touching. Praise God. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Some of you have been through so much in your lives and God is overturning it for victory in this time. It's a time where the enemy might have been rejoicing. He might have been rejoicing and thinking that he had you right where he wanted you in the corner. And God says, uh-uh, I've had enough. Take your hands off my child. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Yes, it's for his glory. 
It's for his glory, my God. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, you know, God uses the enemy like a, um, he uses him <laughs> like a pawn. He uses him like a pawn. And, you know, he, he is, uh, I had a friend say, you know, he is the most deceived, although he is the father of lies and he is the great deceiver. He is the most deceived to think that he can actually do something and have it work out in the way that he wants it to. No, no, no. This is a time where he has truly overplayed his hand in the world and the children of God are bring, are being brought forth in such a way nobody will be able to deny that the power of god is with them that god is real that god is transformed that god has blessed them that god has changed things around for them hallelujah thank you jesus yes hallelujah romans 8 2 8 and we know that all things work together for good to those who love god to those who are the called according to his purpose for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, yes, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. Hallelujah. My God, obedience is better than sacrifice. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, yes, Lord. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. And the Lord just showed me, you know, um, the enemy... The Bible talks about Jesus, uh, uh, you know, overcoming, right, by his blood, by his sacrifice. And, and he kicked Satan off, off of basically the throne. Uh, so Satan was in heaven, right? And what did he do? He was accusing us day and night before our God. And the Lord was showing me how he's just taking notes and he's writing stuff down. And he thinks that he can make a difference and that he can uh, destroy us. But God says, I've had enough. You know, I've had enough. And what is the key to this? We are being conformed to the image of Jesus. As we go through these things, do we become more like him? Do we truly walk humbly with God? Do we truly love justice? Because I'll tell you this. If you love justice and you love God, you love his people, all of them. It doesn't matter what they've done to you. It doesn't matter what they are currently doing to you. When you are at a place where you walk humbly with God, you pray for them. You don't pray on them. You pray for them. For them to overcome the, de the great deception, the deceiver, the hatred, the bitterness, the jealousy, the envy, whatever it might be. That is where God is doing his greatest work in the earth. Hmm. My Lord, my Lord, yes. And for those of you who found yourselves in that place, get ready for some vindication. Get ready for, for the hand of God to elevate you to where the enemy doesn't get the last laugh, right? Sometimes we feel, yeah, yeah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes it does feel like Satan has the last laugh in our lives. Um... You know, we go through just different things depending upon who we are, but that's the thing of it. We all have a story. We all have uh, hurts and pains and, um, you know, oftentimes uh, without Christ, we will hurt other people. We will, um, yeah, I mean, almost just walk in a place of evilness, in a place of darkness. My God, thank you, Jesus. Because through him, through his blood, we can overcome. And God is saying in this time, I know where you've been. I know your darkness. I know the shameful things. I know what's been done to you. I know all of it. I know every detail. I know the things you've never told anyone. But guess what? 
The enemy has overplayed his hand in your life. Hallelujah. You see, there is a perfect plan in everything. There is a perfect plan in everything. And if you look, amen, Lord. If you look in the Bible, God always, what's he say? He says, um, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands. I am at 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Having this seal, the Lord knows those who are his and let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Hallelujah. Wow. And what can cleanse us? Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the word of God. And God will even use those, those vessels of wood, right? Those dishonorable vessels for his glory. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. He's turning it all around. He has turned it all around and he always allows the enemy to go to uh, an extent where it's got to be him, right? It's got to be God that did this. It's got to be God that fixed this. It's got to be God that came in like a mighty wind, like a mighty rush, a mighty sound that says, wait a minute, that's my child. That's my child. You take your hands off of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Elo are son de velara kore vere so tereo. Alo avane son de ri. Que lo avane son tere e velara so tere. See, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. And there are more that are with you than are against you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, this is for those who endure. Like good soldiers, they endure. They continue to endure. And the enemy is about to be put to shame in that situation, in that circumstance in your life. Hello, ora sote, velo, ora sote, ri. Only for the glory of God. Only for the glory of God should no man boast. Should no man boast. You see, to walk humbly, to love justice, to love mercy, walk humbly with God. Hallelujah. He will vindicate you. For those of you, you will know that this word is for you. This word is not for everyone. This, you will know it will resound in your spirit. Test the spirit. Take it to God. War for this word. Wow. Hallelujah. Sometimes words take 10 years to come to pass, 100 years. And sometimes they happen just like that. And this is a time of vindication, reconciliation, restoration. And the enemy is getting put to shame. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged by those things, those circumstances. Don't be discouraged. Walk by faith. God really wants us to be in a place where we're just blind to these things. It's not easy. Um, I think we're always in training. Um, we never reach that place. Okay? There's always more. There's always more. There's always more. But for those of you who are willing, and he knows it, and you continue to just move forward, he is in this time in your life. Mm. Wow. Yeah vindication it's a time where he shames satan forever putting his hands upon your life and make no mistake god allowed it i know it doesn't quite make sense but his ways are beyond what we can understand and god allows these things to test our hearts to prepare us for what he has in our future um because his plan is the best his plan is the best. Oftentimes we we settle for good, but but is it God? You know, we settle for what we think we want, but He has something that's so much better for us. And um, 
yeah, it's really a time to just chase him and chase his purpose, chase his plan. But he is going to tell the world who he is through you. And he is going to show the enemy what happens when you touch his anointed. You see, because no weapon formed against you will ever prosper. And every tongue that rises against you will be condemned. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Yes. And it's a time of unrest for some of you. It's a time of um, um, almost like an unsure feeling, a, a feeling of the unknown. But, but praise God, because He knows. He knows. There's nothing that, that surprises Him. There's nothing that's too hard for him. There's nothing that's too much for him. He's right there. He knows the end. And he's preparing you for, for his perfect plan. But in this time, in the world, the enemy has overplayed his hand. He has went too far. Okay. And this is something that is so sure in my spirit. And it has been for days upon days. But suddenly, God said, okay. Go tell my children. Go encourage my children because he loves us so much. He just loves us so much and he just wants a relationship with us. He wants to be number one. Number one, there is no failure. There is no such thing as failing. Hallelujah. I love you all so much. And, uh, yeah, thank you, Jesus. He loves you more. He loves you more. Hallelujah. Yes, be encouraged. Be encouraged that there's nothing that you go through that's in vain. Even the most horrible, unfair, painful things, none of it is in vain. And whether you see the purpose right now or when you reach those gates, he has a reason for everything. We just have to have faith, stupid faith, to believe that he's working it all out for our good. Because he is. Because he's not evil. He's a good, good God. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, move forward. Go forward. Go forward. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Because he's building you up whether you know it. And he's, he's put people, thank you, Jesus, strategically around you. You may not see these people regularly, but they're praying for you. My God, thank you, Jesus. But the team is coming together. The team of brothers and sisters that God has for you. But you gotta be separate from the world. You gotta be separate from the world. That's for somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't ever give up. Yeah, because God has a purpose. And uh, watch Him work. You know, step back. Don't try to deal with it yourself. Um, we don't fight people. We're fighting Satan. And, uh, yeah, God's overturning some things in your life. And I praise Him because He's always on time. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Be encouraged. I love you all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.